Hello guys, this is the Dell P2422H Full High Definition Monitor, a monitor designed for user comfort and productivity. And I'll be guiding you through the unboxing of this beautiful dual monitor setup using Samsung DeX. So stay with me and let's do this. The monitor comes in this simple brown box packaging and has the following dimensions. It is approximately 28 inches long, 6 inches wide and 17 inches high and it weighs about 17.5 pounds. I proceed to open up the box to find out what's in the box. The contents of the box include some Dell documentation and the user guide, the monitor base, one power cable, one display port cable, one USB 3.2, USB-A to USB-B cable, a monitor stand, and the monitor display. I lay the display face down on a flat surface and I start by attaching the stand to the base and I proceed to tighten the screw beneath the base. Next, I attach the base and stand to the display. The top side goes in first before I drop it in place. The stand needs to be aligned properly to fit perfectly on the display. It is adjustable as shown here and can be detached by pressing this button and lifting it away from the monitor. The connector ports present on this monitor include one HDMI port, one display port, one VGA port, one USB 3.2B port for upstream and four USB 3.2A ports for downstream. Two USB A ports are found here and two others are found on the lower part of the display. This monitor has a 23.8 diagonal size and a full HD 1080p at 60Hz display. It also boasts an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. The power and selection rocker buttons are found over here on the back of the display. The monitor can swivel 45 degrees to the left or right, rotate 90 degrees to the left or right, pivot, tilt, and it is also height adjustable to about 6 inches with a 178 degrees horizontal and vertical viewing angle. It is anti-glare with WLED backlight technology and it is Energy Star certified. It has a power consumption of 12 watts when on and 0.3 watts on standby. I have unboxed the second monitor and I will proceed to test them out using Samsung DeX on the Samsung S24 Ultra. I will also be using this Dell WD19 TB docking station for this setup. If you are interested in the details regarding the setup using Samsung DeX, check in the video description. I turn on both monitors and set each one of them up for the first time. I select my language, the USB charging option and my input sources and the monitors are now up and running. Next, let's take a look at some of the settings that are available on this monitor. It has preset modes, brightness and contrast, auto adjust, input sources, color, display, favorite, and others. Next, I try out different use case scenarios to see how the monitor measures up to video content consumption, word editing, and gaming. When consuming video content, I find the colors vivid and crisp. There is no lag in the visuals, and the viewing experience is really gentle on the eyes. Editing text and word processing was not any different. The text is very legible on this 1080p 60Hz display and the white background of the word processor 
is in no way overwhelming. I feel the different preset modes really help in providing a viewing experience tailored to meet the user's needs. I also found gaming on this monitor a lot of fun as it boasts very thin bezels and a really impressive viewing angle. It was so engaging and it didn't feel like I was using a 23.8 inch screen. The only downside I found with using this monitor is that it doesn't have any audio speakers or a built-in audio jack. So you would need to put this into consideration when choosing to purchase one of these. In my opinion, this is a decent monitor that is durable and suitable for work and play. Depending on how you intend to use this monitor, I believe you can make an informed decision based on the information that I have communicated so far. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you did, kindly leave a like and comment. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye for now.